So we always want to cool down so we can shake things out, pace around a little bit. So after you finish your actual workout, we want to let the heart rate slowly come down. So we're going to do a little bit of these, but you'll notice I'm being a little lazy about it. And that's a good thing for the cool down. We want to give the body an opportunity to recover from the exercise we just did. If you don't, you will be more sore and you'll be likely to have an injury. So many of my clients, they love working out with me because they feel good. And again, you should feel good. That's the point of exercising. And the reason most people quit is they don't feel good. So let's just do some reaches, reach across the body. This should be easy. This is not a workout. From here, we're gonna reach down to a foot. Might feel a little bit of a stretch. Just alternating the hand. Again, we're just trying to give the body a chance to slowly come back to a resting state. If we do something too challenging, it just stresses the body more. If we don't do anything, as I said, bad things happen. All right. So we're gonna take a big deep breath here and reach for the sky. And as we exhale, we're gonna dive to the ground. So big deep breath, reach for the sky. Exhale and dive down. So now we're stretching. The muscles naturally want to tighten up after you exercise. So we wanna stretch those muscles back out to a good length. Slowly roll up. Stretching should never be painful, ever. When you see people in pain when they stretch, all you're doing is making your muscles tight. The more in pain you are, the muscles just wanna protect themselves so they tighten up. You wanna be relaxed. At most, you should feel pull of muscle, but not pain. So let's do that one more time. Big, deep breath, reach for the sky. Draw, dive down to the ground, relax, and just let gravity do the work. Settle into a certain depth. Take some deep breaths. Deep breathing causes a mechanical relaxation, so your muscles have to relax. Legs relatively straight, they don't have to be locked out, but we don't want to be doing a squat right now. Go ahead and slowly come up. Good. So, one of the stretch, we have a couple stretches for our quads. We're going to start with the most basic stretch for quads. You may feel a lot of stretch here, you may feel a little bit of stretch in your ankles. We're going to make our way to the ground. And we're going to start by trying to sit on our heels. And I have some clients who, this is what they look like. That's as far as they can go. Their quads are so tight. So sit back as far as you comfortably can. Tall posture. If you don't feel a stretch here, that probably means you can do uh, the next level of stretch, which I'm going to show in a second here. Um, before that, though, you can lean back into your hands. Turn your hands out. Again, just by leaning back, you may feel more of a stretch. If you're still not feeling a stretch, we can now push the hips towards the sky and relax this whole time. Take some deep breaths. Sit back. Good. Now again, as I progress, if you're not able to progress, that's not bad, that's not good, that's just what it is. So you stay in the original stretching position. Let's take our time standing up though. A lot of people have difficulty doing this stretch properly. It's the most common quad stretch, the front of your leg. Most people do not do, not do this correctly. One, drop your pride, grab onto something. Everyone who's like, ah, I don't need to, then they, you know, they're wiggling around and flailing. So just grab onto something. We're pulling the heel to the butt. Now I want you to look at something. I'm gonna let go for just a second. If you look at my knees, they're close together right? A lot of people do this. They kick the leg out because it's easier, but you're not stretching the quad. So this stretch is only good if you can keep the knee pointing straight to the ground. And from here, if you still don't feel a stretch, you can push your hips forward as you pull your leg back. Good, go and set that down. We'll switch legs if you can. If not, you're catching your breath here for a second until we get to the next stretch that you can join in on. All stretches should be held for about 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, shorter than 15 seconds will have almost no impact. 
Longer than 30 seconds will have very little additional benefit. Multiple rounds of 30 second stretches are useful, but holding a stretch for two, three, four minutes, um, again, unless you're under professional guidance, is really just a waste of your time. Um, it'd be better to do you know, a half a dozen 30 second stretches. Um, go ahead and set that leg down. So next we're gonna do a chest stretch. You can use a wall, a pole, or your door jam. We wanna put the palm flat on a, um, a wall with your thumb pointing towards the ceiling. Your arm should be about shoulder height. And from here, you're turning away from your arm. Now again, you may not be able to go very far. You might still be facing this direction. But with this stretch, it depends where you're tight. You might feel this in your shoulder, your chest, your forearm, your hand, your fingers. It just depends where you're tight. But relax the shoulders, tall posture, and rotate until you feel pull of the muscle, not pain. Take a big deep breath. Go ahead and switch arms. Now, I said 15 to 30 seconds for a stretch, but the best length of time to hold a stretch for is however long until you no longer feel a benefit. So if after 10 seconds or after three slow deep breaths, you notice that you're not really feeling much of a stretch anymore and you rotate a little bit further, so now you feel a stretch again. Big deep breath. Now at this point, I feel just the tiniest relax of muscle, but there's gonna be a point where I no longer feel any additional relaxation. At that point, you can slowly bring your arm down, and that's a good cool down and stretch routine. Congrats, you're gonna be less likely to be sore and you're gonna be less likely to uh, get an injury. So uh, we'll see you next time. That's it, go away, bye.